Fish on Fridays. I'm Al McCauley, and today I want to talk to you about two early church twin brothers who seemingly did everything together. They studied together, they practiced their profession together, and unfortunately, they're going to die together. I'm talking about those early church martyrs known as Cosmos and Damien. And just as an aside, what great names, Cosmos, Cosmos and Damien. Um, we remember their feast day every year on September 26th. Now, most of what we get about these two comes to us down through the ages in the form of legend. We do know some truths about them, but again, a lot of it's wrapped up in legend. We know, as I said before, they're twin brothers. They, they're from Arabia, and they're going to be skilled physicians. They're going to be um, just excellent doctors. And because they're Christian, they don't want to turn anybody away. And so they got into the habit of treating people's ailments and they didn't charge them. Just out of Christ, Christian duty, they didn't charge them. And so they both ended up being called, kind of a nickname, the Silverless, because they weren't paid anything for these services. It's said by legend, too, that they are the first doctors in history to perform the first transplant. And believe it or not, it was a leg. As the story goes, there was a patient that they had whose leg was gangrenous below the knee and they severed it and they were able to take the leg of a relatively healthy leg from somebody who had just passed away and they attached it. Now, the legend does not go on to say if this worked, if it was successful. We don't even know if it really happened for truth, but, it's, but it, it goes to show you, like all legend do, there's some truth and it goes to show you the, the lengths to which they would go to try to help their patients, to help people out of Christian service. Now, we don't know a lot beyond that about their lives, but we do know that they were martyred by that infamous Roman emperor Diocletian right around the year 300. We're not even sure about the year exactly, but we know it, we, we figure it's about 300. Uh, Diocletian is going to abdicate the throne in 305, so we know it's right around that year. And they're going to be killed, they're going to be martyred with three of their brothers. So five, can you imagine that? Five family members dying at the same time um, in, in the form of martyrdom for their faith. It's pretty remarkable when you think about it. And again, the stories about their death <clears throat> is interesting. It was said that archers were lined up to shoot arrows, but they failed. They would always drop to the ground. They would not reach their targets. Then they were uh, tortured with fire, but the fire would not harm their bodies. Uh, it, we even hear a story about how people would pick up rocks and throw the rocks. The, the killers were trying to throw rocks at them to stone them to death, but the rocks would fall uh, it, impotent, wouldn't help them at all in terms of trying to kill these people. And, and out of rage, they were summarily executed by beheading. So all five of these brothers met the same fate pretty much quickly right after the other um, by virtue of beheading. Um, because of their role as doctors, as skilled physicians, especially those physicians, as I said, who would go out of their way to help people out of Christian service, they are today remembered, Cosmos and Damien are remembered as the patron saint of pharmacists, um, because they always experimented in different kinds of drugs to try to treat their patients. They were so popular in the early church and into the Middle Ages, these two brothers were invoked all the time, as you can imagine, for anybody who suffered any type of ailment, any kind of illness, they would look to, it makes sense, to these two people, these two men who were skilled physicians in their own time, that maybe they could still affect some kind of help from heaven on on the the sick. And so they're invoked all the time, and there were so many miracles that attributed it to their intercession, uh, especially related to someone who had uh, recovered some some health, and there was no seemingly no explanation other than the divine intercession, the miraculous intercession of Cosmos and Damien. So powerful, in fact, so important and so influential was their intercession that they were included in the Roman canon of the Mass in the Eucharistic Prayer Number One. Today, we still hear their names, Cosmos and Damien, invoked in that particular place. And when I think about these two, these two men, although we don't know much about them other than, like I said, that they were physicians and that they were very caring of their patients. It makes me think about that. It, you know, even if you're not a doctor, do you show that same kind of fidelity? Do I show that same kind of courage in the face of persecution? Um, will I go out of my way to help others uh, in the way that I am and have been blessed by God to do that? I might not be a physician, but is there some other way that I can help others? Um, and I think about the example of Cosmos and Damien in terms of um, how far they were able to take that. They would not denounce their faith 
even to the point of death, because they were so strong in it. And would I have that same kind of courage and that same kind of fidelity? So anyway, Cosmos and Damien, not just two great names, but but two great people to know uh, and to pray for, for their powerful intercession, especially if you are suffering in any kind of health way, any kind of health concern that you might have or someone you love. So I um, want to thank you for watching. We hope you keep tuning in every Friday for Fish on Fridays. We'd we would love it if you would subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook. But either way, please keep tuning in every Friday for Fish on Fridays. Until next time, please be good to each other and God bless. Mm -hmm.